guys, hey, this is Anna Marie Bold Girl Will Travel, and I'm here with another video, style video, where I'm gonna share with you my Nordstrom holiday wish list. Nordstrom is one of my favorite places to shop, and I'm gonna show you some items that they have on sale right now leading up to the Christmas, Christmas holiday that I think you might consider for yourself or for someone on your list. I'm definitely considering some of them, and I'll share which ones I've already purchased. Most of these items are on sale, a couple of them are not, but they're definitely things that I think should be in my closet or yours. So here we go. So I'm Anne Marie, Ball Girl Will Travel, and I love to talk about travel, fashion, and style and the intersection of those three things. I believe fashion is what you wear, but style is how you wear it. And I do not believe that there is an age expiration date for being fashionable or stylish. Style has no age or number or expiration date. So if that's of interest to you, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when my videos drop which will be generally on Wednesdays of each week. During this holiday season, I may drop videos more often, if I come across deals and things that I think you might be interested in, I'll share them. I'll also be sharing video logs of styles and looks that I've put together that I think are fun, interesting, comfortable, that you might consider for yourself and that might inspire you as well. This jacket is from Zara. It's an old find. I found this in the Zara in Lisbon, Portugal. I went one spring, I think it was not last spring, 2021. And it was spring, April, it was kind of wet and cold and I had not brought enough jackets. So I popped into Zara and I found this one and I like it a lot. I'm wearing it also with a V-neck Zara t-shirt. I find because I'm top heavy, V-necks look better on me than with certain things like this. I either like a V-neck or a round neck, but I think because of the style of this jacket, the V-neck looks better. So that's what I went with for the video. Hope you like it. Unfortunately, it's no longer available, um, but it was a great find and so I kept it and I love wearing it. I usually wear it with some black jeans or blue jeans with uh, sandals in the summer, well not summer but spring, and boots in the winter. So right now I'm wearing it with my favorite Prada monoleaf with black jeans. It's a good look, trust me. Anyway, let's talk about Nordstrom. So for as long as I have been a shopper, because I came up in the DC, Maryland, Virginia, DMV area, I have shopped at Nordstrom forever. Um, Nordstrom used to be primarily my go-to for shoes because they have some of the best collection of shoes. Their shoe department is just out of this world. And so my list is going to include shoes. But I was checking out their holiday wish list and I found a lot of really cool things on there. So I'm going to share with you what I found with no further ado. You will see pictures right here um, in the screen so you can see what each item looks like. And I would definitely say put it on your wish list. The description will have links to all of these items and I will tag the ones that are on sale as sale items. I, I recommend that you hop to it because some of the sizes are going away, especially with the shoes. So definitely get over to the Nordstrom.com website and grab what you can get while you can. I think some of these prices are excellent. Okay, here we go. And I'll be looking down from time to time because I had to write this down because I couldn't remember everything, but there are 10 items, I'm gonna share them with you. First up is this Hold Me Close Rib Wrap Front Top. Now, this is on sale. You all know I love a wrap top. I've already told you that in my video about my picks for Zara for Holiday wish list, which I will link right here so you can take a look at that video. But I love a wrap top, especially for those of us who are top, you know, top heavy girls, a wrap top is a, is a good thing. She's a good thing. So whenever I see a wrap top, it catches my attention. I really, really like this one. It's a sweater. It comes in multiple colors, but the white beige, I think this is white, ivory, it's on sale. So this is definitely one that you wanna grab if you can get it. And they still have larges in stock as, as of the time that I'm putting up this video. So I definitely think this is a get. It's on sale, it's under 50 bucks. I would definitely get this and it's actually in my cart. Haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but it's in the cart. The next one is a pair of shoes and y'all as you know, if you are a fashion style person who's interested in these things, you already know that a trend is that mules are back and pointed mules and structured looking mules are very, very in right now. I love these. And one of my favorite shoe designers is Jeffrey Campbell. 
I love Jeffrey Campbell because they make great dupes of luxury designer things so that you can get them the look that you want at a lower price. And this one is a winner. I believe it's a duplicate of a Bottega um, mule that's out right now. And I looked at it and was absolutely not on the price because I will spend money on certain shoes, but it has to be something that I really, really want. And I always try to hunt down a lower price for it. And in my experience, this type of silhouette, I just don't see spending, you know, damn near $1,000 or more for it. But this dupe is out of this world and it is called the Jeffrey Campbell Vader Pointed Toe Mule. Y'all, look at this shoe. It's gorgeous. They had it in white. They have it in black patent. One has like a gold tone on the heel and one is all black. I have ordered the black one. I haven't gotten it yet, but when I do, I will share it. Super excited. I actually ordered the gold one and the black one because I want to see which one I like the best. They say they run small, so I ordered a half a size up and we'll see what it fits. Because one thing with me and mules, I used to be a serious mule girl back in the day, is that I always order half size because I don't like my heel to be hanging over in the back at all. It's just a, a peeve of mine. I hate that. So I'll see which one fits the best, but this shoe, it's not on sale. But the price is a very good one. It's under, you know, $160. And considering that the original design of this shoe is at least a thousand, I think. Um, you might be able to find it on sale if you can find it at all. But the Bottega is extremely expensive. I will put the price of the Bottega in the screen so you can see what it is. But I think this is a great dupe. I actually like this one better than the actual original, to be honest with you, which I will put right here just so you see a picture of it. Um, but I really think that this is a great duplicate of an existing luxury um, design. And this is the one I love. The next one is the Naked Wardrobe Squared Away Long Sleeve Bodysuit. Now, if you know me, I love a bodysuit. I've already told y'all how much I love a bodysuit. I think they make things look more put together when you wear them with pants and skirts. So I own a lot of bodysuits. And I think this one is amazing. I love the color. I think it's beautiful. Um... This red is like perfect for the holidays. This is a top and then I'm gonna show you the pants that go with it. I have it in my cart, I haven't yet pulled the trigger, um, but I really think this is a great one. If you're going to a Christmas party, even a company party or something like that, I think this is a great look for it um, with it. And I'm gonna pull up the, the pants that go with this, which is the naked, you get the boots, boot cut leggings. As you know, I am not a big fan of boot cut or flared pants. I just feel because I'm short, I don't feel they flatter me because of my height as well as they look on taller people. But this particular set I think would look really great. I might have to get the foot tailored. I used to get my flared jeans and my, my boot cut jeans tailored all the time. The last time they were it on trend and they were out, I had several pairs. I got rid of all of them. I prefer a straight leg jean, a straight leg pant. I just don't love um, boot cut or flare pants, but I love this ensemble. So I have both pieces in my um, cart. And I think that if you have a Christmas party or something like that to wear, put on a shaper and put this on, it will look great. So I definitely think this is a good look for Christmas parties. So one I would definitely recommend and one I'm still thinking about getting. The next one is a sequin funnel neck long sleeve gown. This is for if you have um, a night out on the town that you have to go to. I just think that this is really, really lovely. And I definitely think that it should be on your list of things to wear. I, you know, I don't buy a lot of black tie things because I don't do a lot of black tie things. But I thought that this was really cute and worth taking a look at. Um... If I were going to black tie, this is probably the kind of silhouette that I would go for um, just because I just feel like I like a, 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 a turtleneck dress. Um, I think it's really easy. And like I said, I think sequins, when you wear sequins, you don't really have to do much else. Like a nice cocktail ring um, or a nice bracelet and, you know, a pair of black pumps or those black sparkle pumps that I showed on the Zara video would be perfect with this dress. Love this dress. Um, but I have nowhere to wear it. So it's still sitting in the cart. 
Um, it is not on sale, so I will probably wait to see if they do a year-end sale and mark it down, and then I might get it. Um, but sequins is something I love, but I don't only wear them at this time of year, holiday season, and I have a lot of sequins. And I tend to go with sequins that are doing something interesting, um, much less, you know, like I like a, jog like a, a jogger pants that sequins because nobody expects that. I like um, those sequin leggings from Zara that I'm thinking about because no one expects things like that. A dress is kind of more obvious, so I'm less likely to wear it unless I have a really black tie thing that I have to go to. But this dress right here, I would wear to a black tie dinner or something like that. Um, it really caught my eye because I used to have to do black tie things and I really um, got rid of all of my clothes. I think with the exception of one dress, I've kind of gotten rid of all of my um, black tie stuff. But this dress really caught my eye because if I had to do a black tie thing, this is what I would do. Now. The next one is a dress that I have been thinking about. It's been very trendy. There's a Jean-Paul Gaultier dress and it's been copied by lots of companies, the, the, the basic idea, and this is a great dupe of it. It's the AFRM, I guess, a firm, AFRM Billy Print Long, long Sleeve Sheer, semi sheer Dress. I don't do sheer dresses. I love them on other people, but you're not gonna see me in a sheer dress with um, a, a bikini top and drawers under it. It's just not my thing. I'm not slamming it. It's just not my thing. Um, some people can pull it off. I just don't think I'm one of those people. So it's not a look that you're likely to see me in. But this right here, I would do. I would actually do this, especially in a, I'm getting ready to travel to some warmer climates. I would wear this on the beach. I would put a two piece under it and wear it. I would wear it out to dinner in the evening or to a happy hour. I would wear this dress. It's very reminiscent of the Gaudier dress that's out right now. I have it in my cart. I feel like I'm kind of covered on my wardrobe for my upcoming trip to the continent. I'll be hitting three countries. Um, but I'm still thinking about this. I really like this dress a lot. And that's how I would wear it. I would wear it in the evening. Because it's sheer, even though it's a turtleneck, I feel like I would be okay in a warmer climate in the evening to where I'm going. Because where I'm going is not super humid but it will be um, hot, it will be warm. So super excited about this dress and I have it in my cart and I'm gonna decide on whether I'm gonna pull the trigger soon because I you know, I have to order it probably by the 15th in order to get it in time for the holidays and my trip comes up after the holidays. So I'm thinking about it, but I really like this dress a lot. Um, it's not on price, it's not on sale, but the price is good. It's under a hundred bucks, which I think is good. But I'm still watching it because I want to see if the price will go down some more. But so far it hasn't. But I really like it. Um, the next one is called, by the same company, the Shailene Turtleneck Long Sleeve Mesh Dress. Also love this dress. Think it's a great find. Actually, my style, I'm more likely to probably wear this one than I am to wear the other one. But I like the other one as well because this leopard is speaking to me. So I like it a lot, but I like both of those dresses and I would wear them. They're both share, so you can get away with them in warmer climates. And I think they're really great casual dresses. So I would slide on my, um, with this particular dress, my, I have these black crisscross sandals or my um, Hermes Orans in a, a tan color. And I would wear either one of these to like a happy hour or something in the evening on, on one of my trips. I like it a lot. The next item on my list is not a piece of clothing, but it is something that I've heard about this lip gloss and I've been wanting it and it is, and I and I did buy it, it's the Dior, it's by Dior. I've heard good things about their lip gloss. I have been looking for a nice red lip gloss for a while because Mac stopped making the one, the lip glass in the shade of red that I've worn for years and years. So I've been looking for a replacement. So I decided to try out this lip glow oil because it's on sale, it's 15% off the price. Um, and I got it in the cherry. And so I'm waiting for it to arrive and then I'll try it out and see if I like it as much as I liked the lip gloss from MAC that I had forever. And I can't remember the color. I'll put it in the description, but I love that lip glass and they don't make it in that color anymore. I don't know why they stopped making it in that color, but. I love the color and I've been hunting to find a replacement and I'm hoping that this Dior um, lip glow oil will be a good substitute. And so I grabbed it because it's on sale right now. The other thing I also on my list 
is the Dior Show On Stage Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I've also heard good things about this. So I'm going to try it out. It's also on sale right now. So I went ahead and grabbed it in black because I've been trying to find a good, um, not lip liner, eyeliner that works for me. Um, I've, I've just not been able to find, there was one that L'Oreal used to make and they don't make it anymore. And so I'm gonna try this one out and see if this is a good uh, new substitute for a liquid um, eyeliner. Um, and I'm gonna need that because I'm planning to go makeup free quite a bit for my upcoming trip. I don't really like to wear makeup, especially when it's hot outside. I'd rather just go with my own skin. So I've been working really hard on getting my skin together and I have over the last year improved my skin um, quite a bit. I'm wearing makeup in this video, but not a lot. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. I usually wear just some concealer and then I put some powder over it. I don't like a lot of foundation. So you're not gonna see me contouring and doing all that stuff. I, I just, I ain't, got a, I ain't got the time, the energy or the desire y'all to be drawing all of them things all over my face and blending them in. I just don't do it. I'm sure it would look beautiful, but I am just not interested. So especially when it's warm, I don't even wanna wear powder on my face a lot of the times, but I might do a little concealer, a light foundation powder. So I really tend to highlight my eyes, my lashes and my eyes. I always try to keep together. And so not having a good liquid eyeliner has been a real pain for me. So I'm planning to pretty much go makeup free for the most part with just eyeliner and my eyelashes that I get done professionally and my lip gloss, which is why I really need that lip gloss. Right now I'm really into a, a beige lip gloss from MAC. I think it's called Lust. Love that one. I usually just line my lip with a chestnut colored pencil and then I fill it in. But I also love a red lip. If you, you know, most of the time I have a red lip, I have a red lip right now. So I really want a red gloss to wear in the daytime, like a cherry light gloss in the daytime. And then I'll have a, like a deeper red to wear at night. I love Feel So Fine, which is a matte uh, lipstick from MAC. And then I also tend to wear Tom Ford Cherry Lush, which is a, a glossy, a glossier red. It's my favorite red. Um, I don't tend to experiment a lot with lipstick colors. I know what I like. I know what looks good on me and I tend to stick to it. Um, but those are what I like a lot. And I'm going to try out these two Dior products. And if they work for me, then we'll be adding them to the arsenal. So that's the lip, lip, um, not lip eyeliner that I'm going to try out. And I'll let you guys know how that turns out. The next item is the ribbon balloon sleeve cotton blend sweater. I think that this is just amazing. I love a good sweater that you can just wear as a foundational piece. And this one is on sale. Um, the black one is on sale. I can never have enough black sweaters, like plain basic black sweaters that I can wear under things. And this is one of those types of sweaters. So I'm just sharing this with you. I did not buy this one because I feel like I have enough of those. But if you're a person who likes to wear black pieces as a foundation under other things, this is a good one and it's on sale. So I included it. And it's a, it's a good one that you can also wear by itself because of the balloon sleeve, which gives a really nice effect. This is great with jeans, dress pants, black jeans, the three things I love to wear. So I thought I had to share it with you. Like this one a lot. I would definitely look at it because it's on sale right now. The next thing that I found that I thought was pretty cool was these clogs. Now, stay with me for a minute. I love clogs, certain types of clogs. I do not right now own any Crocs, but I know a lot of people like them. And these were on sale, but I don't think they're on sale anymore. I'm, I didn't buy these, I'll be honest. I've been thinking about, I've been on, I actually went with a different type of Croc. I have Crocs. My favorite pair of shoes, hands down, if it's just about comfort, are these clog, these Croc flip-flops. And they are on my Amazon storefront. I swear by them. My best friend introduced me to them back in 2017. She was wearing them everywhere we went. She was wearing these flip flops. And I was like, what is that? And I tried them on and I was immediately, literally pulled my phone out on the street of Florence and ordered these Crocs. Here's a picture of them right here. But they're flip flops, but I wear them all the time. I never travel without them. But I don't have any clogs. Even though I like clogs, I don't love the um, standard croc clogs. I just think they're ugly. So I don't, I don't love these right here, 
but I really am very into comfort now. So I ended up buying a different pair of Crocs and I will share those in a separate video after they arrive and if I like them. Um, I've been looking for the Balenciaga Crocs because I actually like the way those look, but I haven't been able to find them. I'm still on the hunt. And when I did find them, they weren't in my size. And, when, and the other one that had them, they were full size and I'm not paying the, what they were trying to get them. But I had found a pair on sale, but they did not have my size. So I'm, I'm sharing this for those of you who are croc lovers. They were on sale. They're not on the sale price anymore, but they're under 50 bucks. So if you like crocs, Nordstrom has an array of them. I, I, I just, you know, I couldn't pull my, I couldn't pull the trigger on these even when they're on sale because I just, I just am not crazy about them, but I know a lot of people are. So I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, the next item on the list is this handbag. And it is on sale and that is why I'm sharing it. I love it. It's in the bag, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet. Cause remember y'all, I said I couldn't buy no more bags this year and I'm trying to stick to my word. So I haven't bought it. But I think this bag is called, the um, it's the Givenchy Mini Antigona. I think that this is a great bag and I love the color. The reason I'm interested in it is the color because I've seen it in black and other basic colors, but this pink is the business. This pink is the business. I would pull this out and wear this with so many things that I have in my closet. It's the business. But I also just bought like a, not, it's like a fuchsia red, Gucci horse bit that I would also wear the same way I would wear this. So that's why it's sitting in my cart because I'm like, I already just got this, but this is a satchel. I could carry a lot of stuff in it. It is a mini. It's not massive, but it's a good size. Like look here on the model, what it looks like. It's a good size. So it's in the bag, but I think the price is really good. It's under 1500, actually under 1300. Um, and I think that's a re really great price. It's a, it's a leather bag. I love the crinkle finish on it. I just, y'all gonna make me go buy another bag. I'm like sitting here trying to like decide all the reasons why I shouldn't have it. But I, this color is amazing and I love it. So I had to show it to you all. You should tell me in the comments whether you think I should get it or whether I should hold off because God knows I don't need another purse right now. But this is a great find. This one's a great find. This is a great bag and I've thought about getting one for a while. But because I already met, re reached my limit for 2023, it's still sitting in cart, but I really like this bag a lot. Um, so I had to share it. And then the last item on the list for me is an oldie but goodie. This is my perfect, this is my perfume. I know a lot of people, you know, promote lots of different perfumes and they're going to show you lots of perfumes. I only wear one scent pretty much or, or, or a derivative of that scent, which is Gucci Bloom. I've been wearing Gucci Bloom for probably five years now. I like it. When I like something, I stick to it. I like gardenias a lot. So I also pick up, have a tendency to buy gardenia influenced perfumes when I'm traveling. Like I have a really nice one that I found in Sicily. Um, I have a one that I recently got, um, a, a gardenia or scented oil that I got when I was in Egypt. And this scent is a, is a very much gardenia influenced and I really like it. It's my favorite. I have the roller balls that I travel with. I have the big bottle. And every year I usually buy a new big bottle so that I never run out of it. But I try to get them on sale and this one is on sale. So I did get a bottle of this while it's on sale. So if you like this perfume, which I love, Nordstrom is selling it on sale during the holiday season. I think it's a good price. This thing can retail usually, you know, over $150 um for an ounce to two ounces so i always try to buy it over the holiday season so i'm not paying the full price for it. i don't think i've ever paid full price for it i always either buy it at the um tax-free at the airport or usually i buy it at the holiday time and get it on sale and this this is a really good price that nordstrom has it for so if you like gucci bloom now's the time to go and get your own so that's my top 10 Nordstrom finds that I think you might be interested in. You can tell me what you think in the comments. You can tell me whether you like these kinds of videos and whether you would like me to keep doing them. I'm working on my Amazon 
list right now. I'm going through Amazon to see now that the Black Friday sales are over. Um, what do they have between now and the holidays that's well-priced that will be useful, not just from a style and fashion perspective, but also from traveling. Um, I actually picked up some good things over the Black Friday, which I'm going to share travel related things that I found um, that are new things that I've added. You all know I usually travel without a suitcase. I mean, without, yeah, without a check bag. This time I may have to change that um, because I'm kicking off the, my group trips in 2024. And one of the stops during my trip to the continent is going to be a group trip and meeting up with a small group of sisters in Zanzibar. And so there are things that I need to transport for that trip that I may have to check a bag. So y'all know I'm in my feelings about that because I don't like checking bags. Um, but I'm, you know, I've been fighting it, but I think I may have to do it because I need to have space to take certain things with me um, and to bring back certain things uh, this time. So I'm still on the fence about it, but it looks like I'm going to have to check a suitcase. So I'm also looking at some things on Amazon that will help me still optimize space and so on, even though I am checking a suitcase because I have to trans transfer some things for the group that I did not think about before because I had actually decided against it. Um, but now I realize I'm not going to be able to not do it because there are things that I need to bring with me for the trip that I can't do if I don't check a bag. But I digress. But anyway, I'm putting that list together for Amazon. So if you're interested in seeing another wish list of things for the holiday season, stay tuned. As I said, I'll also be sharing more videos, style related videos. I've been putting a lot of looks together for my trip that's coming up. So I'll be sharing a video where I show you some of the things I put together for my trip to Africa. I've decided on what the core capsule colors are going to be and what my footwear is going to be. And so I'm re re ready to like play around with certain looks to decide what's going and what's not going. And even though I'm checking a bag this time, I still intend to travel light. I still intend to have all my core pieces inside of my um, carry on bag. So if they lose my bag for any reason, I will have my clothes and my handbags with me and my electronics. Um, I'll just be putting some overflow things into the suitcase as well as some things that I have to take um, with me on my trip. But I'm still working hard to maintain, ensure that my core stuff is in my carry-on because that's just how I ride. So I will be sharing more videos around that, my upcoming travel and how I'm going to um, put out looks together for my trip. I'm going to Ghana, Zanzibar, and Mauritius. I have only been to Ghana once. This is my second trip to Zanzibar and Mauritius will be the first time. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and I put together some, got some bathing suits for my trips and all of that stuff. So I'm super excited about that. So you all can stay tuned for that. If you're interested, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell. So you know when I go live, as I said, I will be going live with longer length videos on Wednesdays each week so that you know what I'm up to. Even while I'm traveling, I will be shooting content and sharing both stuff about my fashion style intersection and my travels along the way. So I hope that you will stay tuned and stay subscribed and follow me if you're interested in seeing that perspective um, from someone who's over 40, actually over 50, who's out here living life and doing all the things. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.